Yo, what's good? This is Chef David Olson with Live Fire Republic. We have flown across the continent from Michigan to Oregon to be here at beautiful Detroit Lake in the mountains in these western shores of the Pacific Northwest. I'm with my very good buddy Vic, the Super Skewer Barbecue. Man, what are we doing today? Well, we've got a goat from a local farm. Uh, we're going to mount it on a Southern Cross Argentinian style over live fire. Then we're going to put a little Mexican fusion in it and we're gonna do some birria tacos. Dude, I love that. And that is exactly why I hang with my guy Vic. Dude, this is gonna be nuts. Y'all, you don't wanna miss this. Let's go. What I, what I do on, on small ones like this, because this is a small one, normally a bigger one, I'll cut right in the center of it. Yep. This here, I'll just go along the rib cage. Okay, same thing I would do. I usually start up top, like two and three, or do you start down below? It doesn't matter. Okay. It, it don't matter, but then you stop, start on top, because then it's real easy to crack after that. Yeah, yeah, okay, that sounds good. So, so I'll open, I'll start on my side, and I'll come right up in here, and then we'll go from there. Well, you can do all of it, I'll just help you split it. You yeah, know, you know. okay, perfect. I want to make sure that we're not getting too deep down in that rib and cutting through. There we go. There we go, boom. Other side. Good enough? That looks good to me. Totally. All right, Vic, I think we both agree, uh, really highlighting the flavor, the texture of the goat, it's so important that we keep things simple. So we're gonna start with some olive oil, and then you're gonna get over the top a little bit of that kosher salt and Al Fragoni's chimichurri rub. Rub it down a little bit. There we go. And this is one, this is gonna really help build some flavor, but it's also gonna build a binder for these seasonings, right? That's right. Okay, awesome. Now next in, we're probably gonna go with a heavy dose of this chimichurri. I really like the parsley in here. We have some cilantro, it's peppery a little bit, really nice bit of salinity, super good stuff. This goes very well with um, gamey food. Totally. Um, so. Now we like this rub because there's some gaminess in it. It's a dried chimichurri rub chimichurri being a traditional Argentinian uh, style of sauce that uses parsley, cilantro, sometimes you can see mint. We have uh, dried pepper flakes are in here, some garlic, really, really good stuff, but it helps elevate and complement the flavor of that gaminess. Kind of mellows it out a little bit too, do you think? It, it works great with, like I said, any gamey food. Um, Al Fragoni did an excellent job creating this um, dry rub. And I like the combination of the salt here. There's a little bit of salt inside the rub, but not enough for what we're doing here today. Well, so this right here, we, we didn't have it sitting marinating. So the salt's not gonna penetrate. So we need as much salt on the outer layer. Totally, totally. This is a long cook. This is a four to five hour cook. A little bit of salt. There we go. Now, I tell those at home, that looks like a lot of salt, but you're gonna lose 40 to 50% of the salt in the exterior of this goat through the course of the cook. We're gonna be basting the goat throughout the course of the cook, and of course, we're gonna lose some to the fire and to the smoke. That's an empty bottle of your chimichurri. Get my guy Vic some more chimmy, man.
right, man. I think the hard work is over. Uh, frankly, all that's left to do is get on the fire, huh? Let's do it. All right, man. are we going to sit with the rib cage facing towards the fire and the shoulders down? When do we turn? When do we flip? I say um, the rule is you feel the opposite side. Once you feel the warmth come through the other side, that's when it's time to flip. Okay, so we're going to wait for the warmth to be on the skin side of the back of the animal. At that time, we know it's... It's time to flip. Time to flip. Yeah, you know, we don't use thermometers out here. and. Uh, All right, Vic, go tang in. It's flipped over. It's now time to start the birria sauce. Tell us what we're doing. We're doing, we're gonna add some chilies in here and make the stock, and we're gonna be using this also to baste it in the meantime, so. All right, Vic, we got a nice little simmer here on the water. It's super hot in there. What do you got here? What are we doing, man? So here we're gonna start out with our basics, and this is just gonna sweeten it up a little bit because we're gonna add a bunch of chilies in here. Um, so this will give you a nice little sweet flavor. We you got some purple onion. You got some nice sweet oranges. We gotta have garlic. Of course, man. And carrots. That's it. Now it's time for the chilies. Okay, we got our Wajillo chili, which is basically in, in every Mexican dish that uses chilies really earthy a little bit of heat fairly mild though not too bad right very little heat and then we got our achiote which is a nutty flavor and great color here we got our smoked paprika for color and flavor and in a Mexican cuisine, we love cinnamon and meats. Especially if you go to Tijuana, Tijuana tacos, that's how you know they're Tijuana tacos because you can taste the cinnamon and the street tacos. And here we have um, chile ancho, which is a fruity, kind of like a, like a raisin flavor. So here, so here we have um, oregano it's, um, and bay leaf, just so we can get a little earthiness to it. I like that, really fragrant, really nice. I love Mexican oregano, man. One of my very favorite herbs. Bay leaf in. And we cannot forget about this bouillon here. Tomato bouillon, so it's like a, what do you call it? Um, Chicken stock? Okay. Not too much. Just little a little bit. bit. Just a little bit. You like know? it? We love it, man. This nor. You'll see it in every Mexican kitchen. Yeah, no doubt, man. A hundred percent. I've been I cooked a ton in Mexico and every Mexican kitchen I think has that specifically. Oh man. 
Um, then we're gonna add some tomato paste in here. All right, man, it's time to build a little bit of caramelization on the exterior of the skin, and you have something to really dial up the heat and flavor. Chili oil, man, good old chili oil. Wow. Yeah. Take a look at that. Nice, man. Well, we just, oh, just, just gonna pour it. Just pour it on. Just pour it, let it rip. Chili's everywhere, huh? That's the char we're looking for. Time to chop these bad boys up, get them into the pan to braise. Oh, this has been such a ridiculously fun day here in the mountains of Oregon at Detroit Lake. Listen, if you love this episode, smash that subscribe, like button, flip the bells on so you don't miss a single episode or culinary adventure coming your way. Want to make sure though, drop us a comment, let us know what you think, and what's your favorite camping experience with family and friends. Be sure for all these recipes and more to get on over to livefirerepublic.com and don't forget to give a follow to my good buddy Vic Perez at Super Skewer Barbecue. Now, time for talk is over, let's eat. All right, man, this is literally what we've worked for all day long. It's time to dress up these tacos and get them over the griddle. Ready to go? I'm ready, man. Let's all right. do this. Show us what we need to do, man. We're gonna dip this in the um, consomme, just like this. Put these on the griddle. Amazing. We're gonna add some Tillamook cheese, because it's creamy. And, and this, is it, like it, a, this is like a Monterey Jack? This is a Monterey Jack it's from Tillamook. It's very creamy and it works well with this dish. Now, Tillamook, this is an Oregon cheese, right? This is Oregon cheese out there on the coast. Man, doing okay. work. Then we're gonna put some of this birria on here. There you go. Let's add more, right? Yeah, man, there's never too much birria, man. Get into it. A little yeah, bit of that cilantro, cilantro onion. And onion. Should we squeeze some of that lime on there too? We're gonna, no, not yet. Not yet? Not yet, that's the ending. Wait till the oh, ending. Oh man. You know? <laughs> I'm not a patient guy though, man. I'm just, no. I'm always ready to go, you know? All we're, right. We're gonna keep you in suspense. Oh jeez, let's go. Look at this. I'm gonna fold it. Wow. Look at the crust, look at the caramelization that you have. That ooey gooey cheese is just dripping out the sides over here on this taco, man. That is so amazing. Man, these things smell incredible. Yeah. 
That's insane. Yeah. That is insane, man. You can use the All right, man, we got a pile of tacos. What's the right strategy to tackle this? Just grab the taco, dip, and bite. Okay, man, here we go. Grab from the bottom, right? Right. Oh, okay, dip. I think the key is getting as much of your hand in there get as possible. In, get in there. All right, man, here we go. What? Are you kidding me? I'm gonna get in that, man. I'm gonna have some of this, man. Whoa, you get the, you totally get all that citrus, all that really nice chili, the smokiness. That goat is so ridiculously tender. When you get that cheese, just totally elevates up everything. This is money. Do you like this all the time in the mountains or what? Oh, right. This to me was what this was, trip was all about. We <clears throat> traveled across the continent to, go with my, to cook with one of my very good buddies all over live fire, open fire, super skewer barbecue. And we totally slayed it, dude. We had an amazing day cooking over fire, open fire goat, slow smoke, birria tacos. My friend, flavor, all of it. This has been Live Fire Goat, Birria Tacos. Stay hungry. This isn't bad, Alex. We get to, uh, we get to come out here and eat open fire goat. And uh, as you can see here, Vic frankly does all the work. <laughs> Fire Republic, we don't use thermometers because um, if you die, you die. <laughs> it's about getting there. We may be close to pulling off those legs. Yes. Oh, let it rip. You tried to Alfragoni our goat. <laughs> that was on purpose. Yeah, right. <laughs>